Hey everybody, it's Shannon. Thanks so much for joining me. We are going to do a, a senior workout today. We're going to do half cardio and then we're going to do some upper body strength. Now for the upper body strength, I didn't have um, any dumbbells at my house. I only found, found this mix matched pair. So use whatever you have. If you have dumbbells, that's great. Water bottles are about one pound if you want to try them. And then if you have the larger cans, those are about two pounds, maybe a little bit shy of that. Um, today, I am going to be using um, for our upper body strength, a book that I have around the house. I weighed it, this book weighs about five pounds. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab something for that upper body strength. Um, you can pause this video and get that now. Um, the other thing to be mindful of is just that you have no furniture, no rugs, nothing that you can trip on in your way. We are going to be moving forward and back and side to side. And then if you would wear shoes, that would also be a good suggestion. Make sure those laces are nice and tight. So we're going to go ahead and get started um, with our warm up and then we'll go into our cardio and a little strength. All right, big breath in, inhale, exhale. Shoulder roll back. One more. Shoulder roll forward. Take those arms out to the side. We're going to rotate those wrists both ways. I'm going to have you tap side to side. Let's go ahead and reach up. Nice and easy. Reach forward with me. Extend that arm. Reach with those fingertips. Now reach up, this time a little bit up and over. Try and straighten that elbow out. Stand tall. Nice. Now take that elbow in. At shoulder height, side to side. Perfect. Look at our shoulder roll. Right here with that right shoulder, I want you to pick it up, take it around to the back. Still standing tall. Now take those feet and step touch with me. I want you to take those arms and we're gonna pull. Make a fist with those hands, pull those elbows, straight back, fist forward. Keep it here. Again, tapping side to side, bicep curl. Side to side, little bend in that elbow. Now swing that arm up just above the shoulder. Let's go ahead and push down. I want you to push down on the diagonal, alternate right and left. Now let's go ahead and push up. Push up on the diagonal. Still stand tall. Great. Reach forward, right here, reach forward. Fingertips extend, everything at shoulder height. Now let's reach up and over. Really reach, straighten that elbow out. Let's shoulder roll, alternate right, then left. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and take it to a step touch. Deep breath in right here and hold, march in place. We're going to lunge side to side. I want you to step right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. Now, if you have knee issues, you can just step to the side. You don't have to lunge. But if it feels good for you, I want you to come down, keeping that torso nice and tall. Draw that belly button back to the spine, side to side. Nice work. Let's do one more each way. I want you to hold right here. Let's march in place again. Let's take those arms out to the side. We're gonna rotate those wrists both ways. And let's go into an arm circle. Arm circle, start small, maybe a little bit bigger, and then as far as you can go. One more, and hold. Let's take it the other direction. Arm roll starts out small, a little bit bigger, and then as 
large as you can go. Excellent. All right. Let's take that march right here. Get those arms into the mix. Standing up nice and tall. I want you to do a stomp. Let me show you what that looks like. We stomp and stomp. The foot makes contact from toe to heel. Keep it here. And return to march right here. March it out. Give me that deep breath in as we stand tall. Stomp with me. This time, four, three, two, and march. Good. Stomp with me. Four, three, two, and march. Perfect. Let's do that again. Four, three, two, and march. Last time. Four, three, two, and march. Get ready. Great bind. Great bind to the right. Great bind to the left. We cross that foot and back. Take a step side to side. When you're ready, add those arms. March in place right here. We're going to take it from the top. I want you to march forward with me. March. Get ready for that stop. And four, three, two. Back it up with the march. And stop. Four, three, two. Again, march forward. And stop. Give me four, three, two. Great fun right here. Great fun. To the right, to the left. Once you get that footwork down, get those arms going. Fist forward, elbow back. Now I want you to hold right here. Hamstring curl. Nice work. Take those elbows back again. Fist forward, elbows back. Lifting the heel all the way up to the glute. Now take those arms and up. Pull. Pull those hands back. Get ready, center squat. Give me two squats in the center. Step, give me two squats to the right. Center, two to the center. Step left, two. Again, center squat. Right. Center. Left. Nice. March in place. And stop. Give me four, three, two, and march. Ready? Great. Fine. Here we go. Big step. Still tightening those abdominal muscles. Drawing that belly button back to the spine. Last one. Hamstring curl. Right here. Arms back. Stand tall. Nice work. Pull down. March in place. March. And stop. Give me four, three, two. March back. And stop. Give me four, three. Great bind to the right. Add those arms. Stand tall. Last one. Hamstring curl right here. Arms forward and back. Strong. Let's go. Pull those arms down. March in place. Come forward. And stop. Give me four, three, two. Walk back. March. And stop. Give me four, three, Two, great, fine. 
Almost there. Nice work. One more each way. Return to march right here. Nice work. All right, we're going to do our next combo. We're going to be starting with that V step where we go out, out, in, in. Get those knees up. Just keep it here. Can you step wide and low? Now let's tap it side to side. Cross side to side. We're adding rotation. Twisting from the waist up. The knees and the toes stay facing forward. Let's V-step. I'll get right left. Big step. Come out, out. Down, down. Last one. Now reach, tapping side to side. Let's extend those fingertips, keeping everything at shoulder height. Right here. Hold right here. We're going to kick this right foot out and out. I'm standing tall, keeping that tummy tight. Now I add an alternating arm reach. Get ready. V step right here. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Strong. It's down, down, up, up. One more. Let's reach and tap it side to side. Remember, we rotate from the waist up. Keep it here. Reach, reach. Getting ready for that kick. Right foot kicks. Kick and kick. Alternate that arm reach. Standing tall, keep it here. Now a little difference, we're gonna lift that knee and instead of an alternating arm reach, we're gonna pull down. Tummy's still tight. We lift that knee as high as we can. V step. Out, out. Remember, get low, low. Keep it here. We're tapping. Reach across. Reach and reach. Hands and shoulder height. Reach. Getting ready for that kick. Right foot kicks out, out. Alternate, opposite arm, reach forward. Keep it here. Stand tall, tight tummy. Now just lift that knee up. Lift that knee, let's pull down. I'm keeping my forearms parallel. Pulling that elbow straight down. Now let's add a grapevine right here. Nice work. Just keep it here, grapevine. One way, then the other. Add those arms in. Let's do one more. Now march in place, right here, march. Get those arms up, lift those knees. We're stepping side to side, just one step, then the opposite direction. Let's step a little farther. Big step, side to side. Let's take those arms back. I'm making a fist. Taking those arms to the chest and down. Hold it here. Big step, strong. We're going to be taking a double step to our right. Get ready, double step. It's two. And 
two. Nice. It's two and two. Now check it out. Windmill to the right. Still a double step, but the arm is different. I straighten at the elbow and I reach my fingertips all the way up and around. Can you take a bigger step? Right here, return with that march. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Getting ready for a knee lift. Left knee comes up. It's four, three, two, let's switch. Four, three, two, let's switch. Four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, march in place. March, arms up. Lift those knees with me. Keep it here. We're stepping side to side. One step, step, and step. This time, arms press forward. I'm straightening my elbow. I'm pressing with the heel of that palm. Getting ready for that double step. Not yet. Get ready, double step. Push, two. Push, two. Nice. We're standing tall. Can you take a bigger step with me? Perfect. Getting ready for that windmill. Windmill, still taking two steps, but extending that fingertip all the way up and up. I barely have enough room here. Big arms. March in place right here. March. Keep it here, march strong. We're getting ready for that knee lift, left knee lifts. Four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, and switch. Let's go. Four, three, two, march in place. Inhale, exhale. Nice work. All right. We've got our heart rate elevated. We're going to slowly take things down just a little bit, and then we're going to move to our strength. You are going to need some type of weight. Today, I'm going to demo with a book. I weighed my book. It's five pounds. So grab something if you need to. All right. We're keeping in our march. Let's go ahead and step touch. Let's reach forward. Nice and easy now. We're trying to lower that heart rate. Still good posture. We're standing tall. Now I want you to reach up. Just reach up. Perfect. Let's reach on the diagonal. Reach up and over. Up and over. Shoulder roll. Right here, it's right, then left. Right, then left. Now take it to a step touch. We're gonna push low on the diagonal. Get ready, side to side. Shoulder height, all the way up. Again, push low. Shoulder height. Push up. But this time, it's nice and easy. I don't want you to bring that heel up. Just a nice and easy bend. Bending at the elbow, bending at the knee. And then a nice and easy swing. Let's do a couple more. Bicep curl. Bring it up to the shoulder with a swing. Nice. Now step touch right here. We're getting ready for our toe tap. I want you to tap that toe in the front. <clears throat> Just a little toe tap. 
Now tap that heel. Press that heel in front. Heel. 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 Let's take those elbows back. Tap the toe. 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 Perfect. Tap that heel. Here we go. Heel. Let's march in place right here. Inhale. Ready for our strength portion? Grab whatever you have on hand. Like I said, I'm going to show you what you can do with a book. This is a cookbook. I've never used, never going to use it unless I'm using it for weight training. So this is my five pounder. We're going to start with a lunge. So we're going to lunge right, then left. Let me show you how that looks. So I lunge right, then left. Now, if knees are an issue for you, you can step side to side and just keep it here for the remainder of this exercise. But if not, and you can side lunge with me, keep that torso nice and tall. Don't put weight over that knee. I want you to take whatever weight you are using at home, and I want you to pull it back to the hip, press forward. Back to the hip, press forward. You're still standing tall. You have your shoulders nice and low, and you're extending as far forward as you can, and then pulling right to the hip. No weight over the knee. That weight is still right close to the torso. We press forward and back. We're lunging side to side. Let's do a couple more. Let's do one more. And we're gonna hold right here. Nice work. Now, feet are at shoulder width. I'm gonna take this to a squat and a forward press. Remembering that when we squat, we wanna feel that weight in the heel. So we're gonna squat down, no weight over the knee. I'm imagining a chair behind me, and I'm gonna sit down on that chair, pushing those hips back and feeling that weight in the heel. Again, if you have knee issues, replacements, or hip issues, you can just do a shallow squat. A shallow squat is just fine. You can always work your way up to it. All right, let's squat forward and press whatever weight you're using forward and back. <clears throat> using this cookbook today, you may never see it again. I want you to press forward. Keeping those shoulders low. Let's do four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a calf raise now. So find a spot that's comfortable for you to come up on that toe and then back down. Remember, if anything hurts at any time, we don't do it. You can do this exercise with the feet flat on the ground. I'm gonna do an overhead press. So I come all the way up, then down. All the way up, and then down. So this feels like I should change my orientation of that book. I'm gonna press all the way up, and then down. I am still standing tall. And even though I press those arms up and over, those shoulders are still low. I don't have those shoulders up high. I press up and down. Let's do three, two, and one. Now we're going to do a combo. With feet at shoulder width, getting ready to squat, we're going to squat and press forward. We're going to come up onto the toe as we press up. Combination, here we go. It's squat, hold, up on the toe, hold. Squat, hold, up on the toe, and hold. Where do we exhale? At one of these exertion points, doesn't matter which one, important for seniors to breathe when we weight train. So we need that exhale each and every time. Keep it here. Let's do two more, both ways. One more, both ways and hold right there. All right, we are going to do tricep extension. Remember, I want you to stand with those feet shoulder width apart, but we need those hips forward, and we're just gonna come up and down. It's important, the 
we don't rotate that wrist one way or the other. So lock that wrist in neutral position. Find a good way to hold whatever weight you're using at home. And we're gonna bring those elbows slightly in. And we're just gonna extend up and down behind the head. Find a good spot where you can lock those wrists in neutral position. Keep it here. Let's do four. Three, two, and one. Now, a quick short pulse. Let's do a double set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's bring that weight or book or whatever you have in front of you, you can hold it however it feels good, but make sure the shoulders are rolled low. Roll back and low. Hips are forward, and we're just gonna keep it here at shoulder height. We need another 10 seconds. Hang with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Shake that off for just a second. Now we're gonna hinge at the hip. Those feet are still at shoulder width. I'm gonna hinge forward and we're gonna row back and forth, down and up, row with me. Now that back is at tabletop. So once you get the exercise, straighten that neck out. You wanna be a long line from head to tail. We're gonna row. Let's do a couple more. Last one, right here. Hold that book or weight to your chest. We're gonna do a quick pulse, double set, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, again. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Nice work. Grab water anytime you need it. We're gonna uh, take it from the top where we lunge side to side. Check in with those knees again. How are they feeling? Remember, you can just keep it to a step side to side if you prefer. But if everything feels good, I want you to take whatever weight you have, lunge side to side, remaining with that torso nice and tall. We press forward, hold to the hip, side to side. We're almost there. We're getting stronger and stronger. You're gonna end this video stronger than you started. Lunge with me. Remember to push that hip back. Push that hip back. Keep that tummy tight. Let's do two more each way. We're gonna do one more each way. And I want you to hold it right here. Feet and shoulder width. We're getting ready for the squat again. Getting ready to squat. Let's press forward. Remember, if knees or hips are an issue, you can always do a shallow squat. Find something to do, make the adjustment, and keep moving. Remember in that exhale. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Holding right here, getting ready for our cat raise. Up and down on that toe, and our overhead press. Are you ready? Let's go. We press and press, remembering that exhale, right here, at exertion, every time. Four, three, two, and one, nice. All right, we're gonna hold it right here. We're gonna do our combo. So we're gonna come down into our squat, pressing forward, we're gonna hold it, and then up on the toe, and an overhead press. Nice and strong, we're gonna do a double set and we'll be done. Here we go. And it's out, hold, up, and hold. Out, hold, up, and hold. Oh, I forgot my calf raise. Reach. Nice and strong, up and over. Out and up. I gotta be honest, I forgot to count. Sorry, it's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and our last one. 
it's out. Hold and press, nice work. Take those shoulders, roll them back and low, and we're gonna hold that out. Hold it right here. The tummy is nice and tight, pulling that belly button all the way back to that spine. We need five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Getting ready for our roll. I want you to hinge at the hip. Keeping a long line from your head to your tail. We're going to roll forward and up. Roll down and up. Draw that belly button back to the spine. Keeping it here. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. And quick. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Don't forget it's a double set. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. I want you to take that book. Remember to keep that wrist in neutral position. We take it up and over. Adjust however you need to. Get those weights ready. Elbows in, hips are forward. And we're just gonna come up and down. You're almost there. Up and down. Remembering that exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Double set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Again, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's set our weight down. Grab a sip of water if you need to. You can always rewind this video and do it again. Repeat that weight section if you feel like you need more or increase your weights if you have something at home where you can do that. We're gonna go ahead and cool down just a little bit. I want you to roll those shoulders back, but this time it's a stretch. So we're really picking the shoulder up with full range of motion and rolling back. Now reverse that roll, roll those shoulders forward. Two more, and one more, holding right here. I want you to take that chin down into the chest, keeping the shoulders low. Bring that chin all the way into the chest, and hold it right there. Now with hands on your hip, I'm gonna have you look up at me and we're just gonna tilt that head side to side. We're gonna tilt side to side, one way and then the other. Let's go ahead and take our right arm out. I'm pressing the heel of that palm all the way down, and I'm going to tilt that head. I should feel that stretch, neck, shoulder, maybe a little bit of the back, and I'm going to roll that shoulder back and forward. Hold right here and rotate that wrist. Nice work. Let's switch to the other side. I'm going to tilt that head towards our right. Left arm comes out. Press the heel of that palm, push that shoulder blade down. Now pick that shoulder, roll it back for two, and forward for two. Nice work, roll that wrist both ways. Let's take our fingertips only behind the head. We're standing with those feet at shoulder width. And I want you to look down. We're not pulling on the neck, but we're letting the weight of those hands and gravity Help us with that stretch. And then let's go ahead and lift up. Now we're going to put our uh, left hand on the side of that head. Again, not a pull, but just letting the weight of that hand. Feel that stretch. Shoulder, neck. I'm going to switch it to the other side. Thank you guys so much for coming out with me this morning. I guess you didn't come out, staying in with me, and watching this video. Let's go ahead and take those fingertips. Again, we're going to lace them behind the back. We're going to hinge forward at the hip, keeping that back 
a tabletop hold right here. Come forward a little bit more and then lift that arm up. Slowly come up with me. I want you to take a nice wide stance. Nice wide stance. I'm going to lunge to the side. I'm keeping my left leg straight. A little bend in that knee. Still keeping that head above the heart. Let's take it to the other side. Pushing that hip off on the diagonal. Really sitting in to my stretch. Let's take it to the other side. This time, I want you to take that forearm on that leg. Make sure you have your balance. And then reach that arm all the way up. Let's extend those fingertips up. Holding it right here. And then take it over to the other side. Again, with that forearm, put that on that thigh. Make sure you have your balance. And then reach up. Extending those fingertips up. Let's come forward again. Let's walk these feet in. I want you to take your right foot forward. Right foot comes forward, left foot is back. Still standing nice and tall. Pressing that back heel into the ground. Get ready to shift your weight. You're gonna shift your weight back. Now your weight is on that back foot. Your front toe is up towards that ceiling, sitting into our stretch. I lower that toe. Hold it right there. And let's switch. Now, your left foot comes forward, right foot back. Nice wide stance one way, and sturdy stance the opposite. Head up, press that heel in the back, all the way into the ground. Get ready to shift your weight to the back. Shift your weight to the back. Switch those hands. Now they're on the right thigh. That left toe is up to the ceiling, sitting into it, and then lower that toe. Nice work. Let's take these feet together. We're going to roll up on the toe and back on the heel. Roll up on the toe and back on the heel. A couple more times. And let's hold it right there. Rolling those shoulders back. I want you to take a deep breath in with me. And exhale. Nice work. Take those arms right here. Rotating at the waist. We're going to windmill from side to side. Keeping those knees and toes forward, side to side. Nice work. Now, let's take that left arm across the midline. We're going to open and close, rotate that wrist both ways, and then take that same arm up and over. Let's give that elbow a little pull. I'm flattening my hand in the back, widening those fingertips. Still standing tall. Let's do the same thing with that right arm. The right arm crosses the midline, open and close, rotate. And then take that arm all the way up and bend at the elbow. Now, the opposite hand gives that elbow a little pull. I flatten out the palm in the back, widening those fingertips. Hips are still forward. Nice work. All right. I want you to take those arms in the front. We're going to make a fist, and I want you to rotate those wrists again. Hold those hands open. We're going to open and close. Pull the elbows back, open and close. Open and close. Let's do a couple more. And hold right here. Nice. Now with that left arm, I want you to first reach up as high as you can. Inhale, exhale, to the side. Same thing. Big breath in. Exhale as you come over. Nice work. Hands on hip. We're going to look down. We're going to rotate that head one way and the other. One way and the other. Nice work. Let's take one last breath in and exhale out. For doing this workout with me today. Remember to stay positive. We'll, we'll be through this before we know it. Keep active and working out, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.